Alright, welcome to part two of making a uh, Myth TV home theater PC. And uh, we already went through all the hardware, uh, kind of what you want to pick and how to put it together. It's pretty basic stuff. Um, but now for the software side, which in our case is the whole point of this thing. And so uh, I already have the box here installed. And I am actually, I didn't choose to install a uh, DVD or CD drive in it just because I don't use it very much in here. And so I'm putting everything on flash drives. I have a couple of them. Uh, first thing I'm doing actually is just because I may want to play a few games that don't run in Linux, I'm installing Windows 7 because I was part of their uh, live or whatever the party was. So I got a nice signature edition here, Windows 7, that I'm installing on here to be a media center. I'm not, I'm not even going to use it to record stuff. It's really just to play games. And so we'll see how it goes um, but I'm just gonna give it I want to put this on here first so that any partition information I can create here uh, and so that when Linux goes to install I I don't have to worry about Windows wiping over all my Linux stuff the grub partitions or the boot partitions or anything like that so I'm gonna do the Windows install first um, this is all gonna be really basic stuff so you I'm not gonna keep you here um, but just make sure that if you are gonna keep a second operating system you'll want to do that those steps first because uh, it just works better that way. Linux is a little bit more friendly with dual boot than other operating systems. So I'll go through this and then get up to the Linux booting. Alright, so now uh, Windows 7 Ultimate is all installed and done with. And so now we boot into here. Uh, this is Mythbuntu. Uh, this is actually the 9.10 beta. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go through this install. If you've done any Ubuntu, Linux Mint, uh, lots of different versions. Uh, the installer is going to look the same. I'm not going to bore you with that. We'll just uh, come back as soon as it's actually installed. Alright, one thing here with the partitions. Um, because I have a couple different hard drives, I'm going to go ahead and specify this manually. And I also don't want to wipe out the Windows 7 partition that I just put on there. So what I have here is I already have the disk partition pretty well, so I'm going to have uh, two separate drives. Down here I have a 250 gig. This is just going to be for uh, recordings. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to uh, format that guy. Uh, it's going to do ext4. Um, I recommend it for, especially for larger files. Uh, it just works better. And then the only other ones, I got the uh, standard ex my main ext4 on my 160 gig drive is going to be my root partition and then I have a swap space and the last two drives here are just going to be for uh, Windows 7 so don't worry about those but I do recommend that if you're going to set up dual drives somehow um, one recording one doing your OS is how I have it uh, go ahead and do this manually so that you can make sure it's alright at this point I'm not going to put a mount uh, any mount point for the uh, recordings drive. I'm going to do that later as soon as I actually have everything installed. So all I need to do now is roots on the first one, uh, swap space, and uh, format the second one with ext4. So forward on that. It's going to go ahead and commit those changes and then ask for, for all my user information. On the user information, uh, make sure you put a user other than MythTV for your user because MythTV is going to be an internal user that does all the recordings and stuff. Uh, I always set my machine name to MythTV just because it makes it easier for DNS on my network to be able to find it and uh, view the website or the MythWeb and set recordings and stuff like that. So uh, I recommend it. You can name it whatever you want though. Next steps. Um, we have one step here that's going to ask you all sorts of stuff. How you actually want this set up. Primary backend with front end, secondary backend with front end, primary backend only, secondary backend only, or front end. Uh, for an all-in-one machine, you want the top primary backend with front end. Uh, the secondaries are only if you have other Myth TV setups around the house, and same with just a front end only or just a back end. So forward on that, and it's going to ask us what services we want. I am going to use VNC. Uh, to remote to the box, SSH service I recommend so that you can do a lot of configurations remotely. Samba service so you can see the recordings. NFS because I do have other Myth TV uh, machines, or well, a couple laptops, and same with the Myth TV service. This lets you use like a laptop as a front end, so uh, I recommend that one as well. I have a remote control. You 
enable that here and mine's all the way down here at the bottom uh, stream set stream zap PC remote and if you have an IR transmitter, uh, this isn't a FireWire IR, IR transmitter, just an actual IR transmitter. You can enable that one here and find out, find yours on the box or on the drop down. I'm not using one because I'm going to be doing FireWire, so I'm just going to hit next here. Uh, video drivers, definitely for this use the closed source, uh, whatever you have restricted drivers, drivers available. I have a NVIDIA 9500 GT, like I said before, so I'm going to use that. Uh, that card. My my TV is plugged in with DVI, so I don't need to worry about uh, TV out because it treats it just as a monitor. Forward on that, and we got everything set up here. Um, make sure on the advanced. Sometimes you want to make sure you're installing the bootloader. I'm installing it on my first disk SDA uh, so that the computer can boot. So make sure that that is there. Uh, you may want to review some of your settings, uh, language, layout, user, that kind of stuff. Otherwise, just make sure that your hard drive stuff is set up correctly. On the next, we're going to go right into the installer. Uh, this is a current uh, Ubuntu installer. has little pretty pictures down here in the corner and little stuff. Uh, one thing, well, let's go ahead and let it wait. It's not going to take very long to install.